Wix recently released their intuitive and no-code app builder that now allows anyone to simply create and launch their own custom app across iOS and Google Play. This is a complete game changer for businesses looking to build their own app without the associated cost of developing an application. So today in this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete process of setting up, creating and launching your own custom app using Wix's cutting edge and no-code app builder. Now, before we go ahead and launch into to Wix's disruptive app builder, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. Okay, so with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and navigate through the simple process of building your own app for your business. Okay, so getting started to create a native app for iOS and Android without touching any code, simply head over to your browser and type in wix.com and then locate the Wix app builder or click on the link in the description below this video and that's going to take you here. Then navigate down to build with AI. Wix now allows anyone to simply build an app leveraging AI. If it's your first time using Wix, go ahead and sign up by adding your details on the left hand side or sign up with Google or Facebook. First, who are you creating an app for? I'm going to select for myself, my business or friend. Then come down, click on continue. Then here we have the option to leverage AI to build a custom app for our business, or we can set up our app without AI. Now the complete AI chat builder is not quite there yet. So for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to set up our custom app without AI and then leverage AI tools to help us build our app. I'll show you what I mean shortly. Go ahead and click on set up without AI. Give Wix a moment to load your dashboard. Then the first thing that you want to do is add your app's name. Then come down and upload a square image for your app icon. I'm going to upload a logo that I created earlier using Canva. And Canva is a completely free design tool that you can use to create content for your app or website. Okay, so here's the logo that I created and click add to page. And this is what my app icon will look like on devices. Come down and click on next. Here you want to choose your app theme and you can make changes to this later on. So I'm going to leave classic for now and then click on next. Here you want to choose the navigation layout for your app. Do you want bottom bar navigation or top bar navigation? Personally, I think top bar is more clean and easy to navigate for users. Then come down and click on next. Then if you like, you can preview what your app looks like by simply scanning the QR code and previewing the layout of your app. I'm not going to do this yet because we still need to build our app. Come down and click on next and then continue to dashboard. First, we want to connect a custom domain and you can add your custom domain in here. If you already own a domain, you can connect that here or you can add a new domain and purchase that domain. Because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to leave this step for now and then navigate down to the next step, which is where we want to add our services. Click on add service and you can search for specific services up here. You can see Wix already understands my app. So I'm going to add training package, and that's going to take you to your first service. For us, this is a training package. Come down and edit the service details. So this is the service that you want to provide on your app. However, this is only if you provide services in your app. I'm going to quickly fill out the service details. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added my first service. The name of this service is Busy Dad Package 101. You can see the tagline down here as well as the description of this service. And then we have the duration of each session included in the service and then a buffer time between services. You can also leverage AI to help you generate a description. And up here I've added an image and I've just used an image from Wix's asset library. Then navigate down to price and payment. I'm happy with per session or with a plan. Then you can choose the pricing type and add the amount in here. Add your payment preference. I'm going to keep enter amount online selected. And then down here we have memberships and packages. This is because we selected this option here. For now, I'm just going to select per session, then come down to locations. So where is the service performed? Is it at a specific location or is it online through video conferencing? I'm going to add video conferencing and then click on Zoom and then continue. Then here you simply need to navigate through the process of connecting your Zoom account. For now, I'm going to close this and navigate down the page. And in here we can add additional resources, images and booking preferences. For now, I'm just going to select save. And as you can see, we've added our first service to our app. To add an additional service, come down and click add service or navigate up to add a new service here and then search for the service that you're after or select from these options over here or create a service from scratch. I'm going to quickly navigate through the process of adding one more service. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added an additional service. Navigate back up to Setup. Then here you can take the time to add your working hours, update your staff details, set up payment options, pricing plans, then you can create a website with Wix and optimize it with SEO. However, today we wanna to focus on customizing our mobile app experience. Go ahead and click on edit mobile app. And again, this is what our app currently looks like. Simply click on the different elements. As you can see, this is the header and then navigate over to the right hand side to make custom edits. Again, we have header type, we have detailed here and minimal. I'm happy with detailed, then come down to app info. I'm happy with my title as my business name, then add a subtitle, then navigate down and you have the option to show your logo, show general information, and then you can also upload or change the cover image. I'm going to delete this and add a new image. You can upload your own image, but for now I'm going to navigate over to media from Wix and type in fitness and then look for a suitable photo that I want to use. I like this image over here, so I'm going to use this by selecting select image. Simply drag this out and show the areas that you want to use. I'm happy with that. Then navigate down further and choose these options based on what you want to show. Show member count, show member profiles, and then these other action buttons. For example, with the button we have book a service. We have these other options down here, but I'm happy with book a service. And I'm going to change book now to get started. Once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on save. And close this for now. Then navigate over to the left hand side. What we can also do is click on elements and add different elements to our app. For example, let's add a video. And as you can see, that's going to add a video element. And we can move this video element to a different placement on our app if we like. I'm going to move it up and leave it here. Go ahead and add a video. Simply click on add video and upload your video if you have one. I'm going to come down and click on media from Wix and then type in men's fitness and then navigate down the page. And I like the look of this video. So for now, I'm just going to add this video. Again, we can navigate over to the left hand side and add other elements like pricing plans. And you can see these different pricing plans here as well as bookings. For example, if you have group workouts and other options down here. Now let's navigate back up and you can see under navigation, we have four navigation items. If we click on screens over on the left hand side, we can jump between these different items. For example, if we click on schedule, that's going to take us to the schedule page. If we navigate over to services, you can see the two services that we added earlier and the app user can simply book those services. We then have a blog and you can create blogs from inside your dashboard. And then we have pricing plans over here. You can also rearrange these items if you like. Now, if we navigate down here and click on, let's say this pricing plan, this is actually an element and you can only make basic changes over on the right hand side. You can also preview what your different elements on your app look like across different devices like Android and iOS. These shouldn't change the interface too much. So we're gonna keep all selected. Now, if you wanna make changes to these elements, for example, the pricing plans, if we head over to schedule and click down here, you can see this is an agenda. Again, if you wanna make changes to the agenda or even services, if we come down and click on services, this is another element. All you need to do is navigate down to manage bookings. So for services, if we click on manage bookings, that's gonna take us back to our services where we can customize and add services like I showed you earlier. Let's navigate back over to pricing plans and again, click on this pricing plans element and then click on manage pricing plans. And this is where you can start customizing your pricing plans. Simply create a plan and start customizing your pricing plan similar to how I showed you when it comes to customizing your services. Okay, so I'm going to head back to actually customizing our app interface. Again, let's navigate back over to screens and then come down to schedule and then click on this element here and then manage bookings. And that's gonna take me to my different services that I can then customize the schedule and availability. Okay, so let's head back to setup and then click on edit mobile app again. If we navigate over to design, this is where you can change your app theme again to these different options down here. We can also navigate back and we can customize the theme color. These are our primary colors here. If we click here, we can change this if we like. And again, we can do the same with our text and icons and background. Now, what we can also do is navigate up to screen and click here. And again, like I showed you under screens, you can jump between the home, schedule, services, blog, and pricing plans, which are the different screens that we have on our mobile app that you can customize. Now, you also wanna take a look at your system screens. This is your launch and login. For example, if we click on launch, 
This is what our launch screen looks like. This is when someone opens the app and you don't need to make many changes here. However, if we navigate back up to screen and then come down to login, you may want to make changes to your login screen. So this is what your users will see if they want to create an account and log into your app. Again, you can play around with the screen text as well as colors. And when you've made any changes, click on save, click on close and let's exit this. And that's going to take us back to our app homepage. Now let's preview our app. Then to preview your app, simply open the Wix owner app on your mobile device or scan the QR code and preview your app on mobile device before we publish our application. Okay, so let's navigate up to save. And before we go live with our new branded app on the Apple App Store and Google Play, we first need to finish our setup. Click on go to setup, then come down to set up app store listings for your app. Now, in order to publish your app on the Apple App Store and Google Play, you will need a branded app premium plan. Simply click on purchase down here or click on purchase plan. Now let's click on set up listings and choose the app marketplace that you want to set up first, either Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Simply navigate through the app details, fill in all the information and then click on save and continue and do that with both app marketplaces. All you need to do is open an Apple and Google account and connect these to your dashboard. After you submit this information with Wix, you don't have to do anything else. Wix will take care of the rest. You just need to fill in this information correctly. Okay, let's navigate back. And again, under site and mobile app, under mobile app, you'll be able to see when your new app is listed on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. However, make sure that you've purchased a branded app premium plan. Then you also need to navigate down here, create and connect developer account. Click here. Now it's important to note that in addition to Wix's premium plan, you will also have to pay for Apple's developer program, which is $99 per year and Google's developer program, which is a one-time fee of $25. So go ahead, sign up and connect your accounts. Let's navigate back again. And that is everything you need to know when it comes to building a mobile app with Wix. If you're interested in learning how you can use Wix to build an online store or a standard website for your business, I will add the appropriate tutorials down below in the description for you to check out. However, that is everything that I wanted to cover in this brief tutorial covering how you can build a mobile app using Wix. And there we have it guys, that is it for this app building tutorial using Wix's all-in-one and intuitive app builder. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.